Yeah, so I joined the State Bank of India in 1980. Yeah. And the environment at that time was that every bookkeeping and every function was manual. And today, when you look back in 2024, it's a completely changed world. There was a time when balancing the books that itself used to be a huge task, the customer's money, when you were collecting or remitting, it was a pain. You would never get interest on your deposits in time. So that was the scenario. And then gradually thereafter, uh, I would consider 1984 as a watershed moment in the history of banking, when a bipartite settlement was signed with the unions which allowed computerization of the banks. At that time, there were not many uh, private sector banks in the form what we see today. And uh, to give you an example that in 1984, I was working in HR Department of State Bank of India, and we acquired an electronic typewriter, yes. which cost 75,000 rupees in 84. And then came PCXT, AT, and then the world has completely changed. And in this uh, century, it is the advent of internet banking and mobile banking like any other service people consume. So banking is now mostly consumed through uh, mobile banking and internet banking. So it has been a long journey. It has been helped by the fact that in 1991, uh, the Indian economy and the banking system was unshackled. There was a rise of what we call new generation private sector banks, likes of ICICI Bank, HDFC Bank, uh, UTI Bank, and now which is called Axis Bank. And that brought in competition, that brought in a new approach, that brought in adoption of technology in a big way. And it goes to the credit of the state-owned banks that they also adopted technology and have been able to compete in the market. The another I would consider to be a very, very important event in the history of banking and financial inclusion is August 2014, when our Honorable Prime Minister and he announced Jandhan Yojana. So the ingredients were there for that program to succeed. It's not that there were no financial inclusion initiatives in the past, but August 14 brought a paradigm shift and when 35 crore accounts were opened and that is supported by again technology, it is impossible to open and manage such a huge number of accounts and that too in the remotest area of the country unless it is supported by the technology and of course there was another important ingredient was the business correspondent model. 